Okay. And some, you know, examples from my own writing experience or from uh, things I've read about from, uh, you know, other student papers uh, over the years. So, um, you know, taken from my own life, I'll give you one example. You know, I remember, uh, you know, growing up when I was young, I must have been about, you know, four, four or five years old yet. I could not read um, yet. But I have a distinct memory of uh, looking around the room one day and seeing everyone in my um, family, uh, my parents and my two older brothers, reading. So, uh, you know, my dad was reading the newspaper, my mom was reading a novel, my, uh, you know, brother was reading, one of my brothers was reading, a, you know, a comic book, and another one was reading, like, Sports Illustrated or something like that. So, you know, I remember just looking around and, and seeing everyone doing this. And then, um, you know, I actually, you know, got up and actually got a book and, uh, you know, started reading it myself. Right. Uh, and <laughs> until my mother came over and, uh, you know, uh, turned the book uh, right side up and uh, showed me you know, that I had to read left to uh, right or, um, and also um, uh, down, you know, read down and, you know, instead of read, uh, read, read up to down instead of down to up. So apparently, and, you know, she told me this afterwards or reminded me about this afterwards. Apparently I was, you know, totally trying to read the book in the absolutely wrong way, right? But I was, uh, you know, trying to act as if I were reading the book. So anyway, I'm not sure what all that means, um, but it's definitely something where, you know, reading was signified as a, as a positive thing, something to do and could be done, you know, in a lot of different ways. So that's always sort of uh, stuck with me. So anyway, um, in terms of writing, right, you can use that, you know, like a moment like that in a genealogical way where you, you start off with that as your like lead metaphor. Um, and, um, it's sort of like a parable. It's like a thought image, right? It's an impression, right? And, you know, from that, you know, that's definitely not the, you know, the specific origin of your, of reading or my reading, but it's sort of like a, you know, a type of metaphorical sort of image for reading in my life. Okay. So that's just, you know, one example of, um, of doing this, uh, you know, assignment.